Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am the crazy KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting me, welcome. I'm a lifetime thrifter turned reseller, and I cannot resell on Poshmark, Macari, Tradesy, Etsy, Shop Thrilling, Depop, and soon to be Whatnot. So, if you are interested in the tips and the tricks and the things I learn, along my journey do me a favor hit that like and subscribe down below because i could use some help right now <laughs> all right so today happens to be thrift haul thursday my favorite day of the week this is where i go into my local goodwills and find what i can flip for profit sorry a little tongue tied right there okay so let's dive in sorry i am off camera i'm gonna swing this over just a little bit all right, so I'm gonna start off with the items that I picked up for just $1. Um, my local Goodwills have one tag that's been half off for a whole week and then at the end of the, well, on Thursdays, they'd go through and mark them to one buck before they ship them to what they call the Goodwill outlet, which is the bins. So I like to go on dollar days. It's less um, physical, I think, for me uh, than the bins. So. These are my finds to flip. Um, this happens to be a gorgeous, you can see the lace. Um, it is sheer, so you'd wanna wear something underneath it. Or, you know, just some sexy lingerie. Who knows how they're wearing these things these days. Anyway, it is a vintage piece. Um, it's a 1314, which I'm going to say it's probably just like a medium or a large. I'm gonna say probably like a medium. Um, and it is a little bit of a shoulder pad, slight puff, V-neck, button down, all the way to the floor, a maxi. Um, this is in a gorgeous, I don't know, cranberry wine um, color. And um, I will be using witchy, um, I don't think there is a witchy core. I think there might be witch core um witchy um goth um i don't know a bunch of the cores <laughs> gosh guys i don't know i'm having a brain fart moment at this time forgive me all right so anyway um yes for a buck i will pick that up okay next i found who are you alex and marie size eight and i just love the details on this look at this it is a, you can see the sheer um, lace short sleeve, lace overlay, and nice faux skirt at the bottom with the fringe is see-through, and you can see the nude slip. So a very pretty, um, did I say the size? And it is a size, what are you, eight. Size eight, decent size. Um, I picked it up for a buck. This should do very well. I do do very well with their dresses, so yes, for a dollar, I'm not going to pass that puppy up. Okay, next is a vintage piece. Um, it's a Tahari, which I know a lot of people go, I don't pick up Tahari. It is a Tahari vintage. Um, it is wool, and it is a sweater dress, and it is a maxi. I would definitely call this a frock. Um, and it has, I don't know, those dolman sleeves. I think they're dolman sleeves. Um, it's a full button down the front, full bottom skirt. So definitely, again, witchy, goth, gothic, uh, witch core, whatever. Um, and it should, I think, do well. Okay. Just for the print of it. <laughs> I haven't said that in a long time. Um, this one is just so stinking adorable. Um, it is just an ecote. Is that how you say that? It is a size zero. Um, it is this cute little puff sleeve. And just to make sure, are you a just a mini? Oh, uh, I think you're just a mini dress. Yes, mini dress. And let's see, are we made of anything spectacular? Rayon, 100% rayon. Um, I love the mustard yellow. I love this little tropical floral print. Um, and it has, I don't know, almost like a sweetheart because it has a scoop V here and almost square there. 
um, little fit and flare skater skirt. So yes, um, uh, since I have been approved to sell and whatnot, that probably would be one of my pieces that I would throw on there. Um, it's going to be all about style, I think, for a while until I build up a um, following. So yes. Um, okay. Now this is an Eliza J. Uh, great brand, size 10. This is a little bit of an older style, but, um, and I say that because of the lace. The lace looks very 80s to me. So I will do a little bit more research, but it does have like this little, um, I don't know, whiskery scalloped edge, sheer lace sleeves, v-neck, almost like it's, um, it's a mock, uh, mock wrap um, with a full skirt, so like a little full foot and flare skater skirt in this beautiful blue and blue is one of the colors for the runways right now for fall let's see and we are made of nothing spectacular and let's look at well, it has a style number um and it has only written instructions so this could be a piece from the 80s so um i will do a little bit more research but yeah um First off, if it's vintage, fantastic. Eliza J, good deal. All right, this one I've got because it's just so stinking cute. Who could resist this like picnic plaid um, little, I don't know, is it, I always get them all confused. I wanna say gingham, but that's not it. Um, Talbots, um, it is a Talbots, it is vintage because it's made in Sri Lanka. Uh, <laughs> It is a Talbot's uh, outlet, um, and I believe it's 100% cotton or linen. Let's look. I think it's cotton. 100% cotton. And um, so, yes, we've got fun colors, sleeveless, pockets. Um, who could not pass this up? Rainbow. This could also, I would definitely maybe put um, pride, all that good stuff. Oh, and do me a favor. Stay till the end because I found a piece I have never found before, and it's a pretty good one. So, all right, nothing. I mean, these are all pretty decent. I'm pretty ecstatic about them all. So, <laughs> my next piece that I found for a dollar happens to be Double D Ranch, wear size four, so this is a vintage, um, and it is just the sleeveless, like, I don't know, it doesn't have a waist accent, so it's gonna be a shift, even though it has like, this type of an accent, um, but it, it has these flap, like drop pockets, um, and it's almost, it looks like it's like a micro suede, but it's not. Um, in fact, what are you made out of? Let's look. But yeah, Double D Ranch is a good vintage brand, and I've got, oh, I see a tag. Oh. Uh, tinsel and rayon dry cream made in the USA. There we go. So yes, another vintage piece that I found for a buck. You know, when I find these items for a dollar, they are so easy to make such a ton of profit. And I know that I've been buying a lot of items that are a little, I've been paying up for to flip for good dollars. Hopes that they flip faster. But in all actuality it all depends on how much you actually spend on your item not only how fast do they flip so you know always take that into consideration you know my business model can be different from yours um, I'm just at a point where I want to grow and because I list so slow um, what can I do that I haven't tried or haven't done and so that's one of the reasons why I've changed my model around a little bit um, and adding whatnot that's going to change it even more um, you know, especially with Poshmark, I swear to God, my sales are dead. Uh, Depop is beating my Poshmark. So, <laughs> and Poshmark used to be my one and only and really good. So I'm quite sad. Um, I wish they would have not broken it. Anyway, let's keep moving on. So this one is another vintage piece. It is 55% silk, 33% nylon, and 10% rabbit angora hair along with 2% lamb's wool. Awesome, made in Hong Kong. So it's definitely an 80s. 
Um, and it is this neutral, almost like oatmeal, super soft knit skirt. So yes, all of those wonderful um, materials is going to elevate it even more so than just being vintage. So yes, please. Okay. Next, another vintage piece. This is Nine and Company uh, polyester. And the reason that I say that it is vintage, it has absolutely zero washing instructions. So at one point they made you put washing instructions. Oh wait, maybe I lied. Uh, 90s. I say 90s, not an 80s, because it does have written and then a few older of the symbols on the bottom, but also the print and the color. So um, it is a size 10, so it's a decent size. Um, I like the fact that it has a little bit of like this asymmetrical, um, asymmetrical, to me it looks like it's asymmetrical. Yes, it has a lower side over on this side over, over here. <laughs> if I stand back maybe um, anyway asymmetrical is very big on the runway these colors are just I don't know they're gorgeous they're always some of my favorites I love it um, it has a paisley bandana print it's full it's sheer so yes it's just polyester but yeah I love it and for a buck I wasn't passing it up all right next this one happens to be, again, this one is a chaps, size 12. It's 75% wool, 25% viscose. And, flip, do I have, no? It is new with tags, and I believe it is a dead stock. And dead stock meaning that it's not just new with tags, but that it's vintage. I'm just looking for that the washing instructions whatsoever. And this one doesn't have any washing instructions. Does it? I don't know. There's a little tiny tag right over here. I mean, it's a tiny. It says dry clean only. I do believe, I will look up and see if I can like date maybe the CHAPS logo. Um, I will look at the tag. Um, and see if I can figure out where it came from. Um, but Ashcomb Estate Tan Multi, it looks like that's what it was called, but it's a wool skirt. These do very well for me. Um, and plaid, guys, we're going into fall. Plaid always does well. Nice size, wool, and look at the colors on that. Gorgeous, just gorgeous so um yeah i'll probably list this for i don't know depending looks like there's a little hole right there looks like there's a little hole right there but if you're wearing a shirt over you're not going to be able to really see um i don't know 65 i'll probably list it for 65 maybe higher i don't know i might change my mind you never know but i loved it and it's something that i would still put almost under i don't know if it's riding academia because it's the plaid it's a little bit longer than the schoolgirl look but again it could be uniform all kinds of different things you can do with that one all right all right so the rest of those are my full priced so before i finish that we'll go into my other full priced items so i didn't find a whole heck of a lot for a buck but i did pick up this for 3.49 and it is a vintage 100 percent cotton um, do I have the brand? I swear I had the brand. Do, do, do. No, I just had the RN number. And it is, what I loved about it, it is a teal um, velour. Is that a driving hat? I don't know. It's a little small. I used to love my hats. So, um, this I think is just so super cute. It's in decent shape. I will try to clean up right there. I don't know if that could have been me right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's about the only thing. And um, you know, it's not gonna get me a ton, 
but it is a very super fun vintage look. All right, next. I picked this one up. Oh, another dollar item. So let's see, who are you? I don't even think you are branded. Maybe that's what, um, I only pay a dollar on certain things. Purses, I usually do spend more. Made in China, imitation leather. So of course I'm gonna list it underneath full leather. I do not have a brand or anything. So, but it is very, um, so let's say faux vegan leather, uh, Western, can you see? All the detail to that western crossbody there you go this would also be another item I would consider putting into my whatnot so there you go next my full price autumn you gotta tell me what you think um, this one I just it was so stinging cute this is Bill Blast jeans new uh, dead stock 100% cotton, size 12, um, made in Sri Lanka, so no question, it is a vintage piece, 80s, and look at it, it has the quality and comfort, uh, bill blast, um, it is this denim with this velour, um, it's not embossed, uh, maybe it's embossed denim, I don't know, how would you put that, but it's got this floral print and this nice neutral tan, very western, um, cute country nice large size again dead stock vintage and what did I pay for you so I paid $9.29 so I'll probably list her at $65 maybe we'll see when I do some googling um, I think some build blast pieces can do very well and then again some not so well but um, yeah all right next I went through and pick this up it was absolutely gorgeous it was actually a ton of pieces I wanted to pick up at full price guys but you know you gotta watch your budget so <laughs> I decided on this piece it has like ruffle sleeve down here it has the tassels it is vintage it is just really super pretty it's more of like a formal like wear it over a nice dress it's a size small it's Dorothy Sholin platinum size small but it's 100% silk, which is another reason why I picked it up because when you have that, that's gonna make a difference. Oh, I lied. I swear it was 100% silk. That's a bit of an item. This one's a rayon. It's a rayon metallic made in the USA, fabric from Germany. But it is a gorgeous little crop jacket and I think that'll do really well. So I paid $5.99 minus my 20%. Yes. All right. Now I'm not gonna lie about this one. This is my best and my final piece and find of the day. Are you ready? It's my first time finding. Jam World. Oh, you can't read it, it's backwards, sorry. <laughs> it's a size large. Um, I did pay $9.99 for this one. It is a button drop waist with pockets in this beautiful color, plaid on the top, floral on the bottom, Jams World. I Googled some of them and a lot of them are listed for over $100. So I was super stoked when I found this piece. And here we go, material time. Um, it is vintage, 100% rayon made in Hawaii, USA. So yes, if you haven't, um, most people have because people talk about it when they find it. So I found me my first Jim's World. Um, super stoked about that. There are, it looks like a few little marks right here. I have not tried to get out yet and right there, but very small and insignificant. Um, super stoked that I found it though. All right. So there you have it. That is my haul for this week. So do me a favor. Leave me comments down below. What was your favorite piece? Have I lost my mind? <laughs> and until next time, guys.